Hey guys, Cody Barmani here. Today, we're talking about the Eastwood 48-inch electric brake. Now, this sheet metal brake is a lot different than your typical box pan brake or something like a VersaBend. It actually uses a large electromagnet to clamp the metal and allow you to make a variety of bends. This thing's perfect for battery boxes, any sheet metal repair work, general fabrication, because it can actually bend up to 16 gauge steel and aluminum and up to 20 gauge stainless steel in that full 48 inch width. It's also nice because it doesn't take up a whole lot of space in your garage and it really gives you a lot of versatility that you don't get with your typical box pan brake. That's because you don't have a large top leaf assembly that kind of inhibits what you can and can't do. If you can fit one of the clamping bars in there, you can bend it. And right off the bat, we give you three full length clamping bars both a wide and narrow, and one that's notched for some small box pan work, and we give you a variety of small bars that allow you to fit inside a box, and really you can do deep boxes now, you can do partial bends, you can actually do a lot of things that you can't do with your typical box pan brake. You can even use a piece of steel tubing to make a radius bend. All you do is you set it on there, and you use it as your top leaf. So now that you know a little bit about this, let's bend some stuff up, show you what it can do. All right, so for this first bend, we've got a two foot piece of 20 gauge mild steel, and we've got the four inch solid clamping bar. Now what's nice about this bar is that it actually has adjustable setback, so you can get your bend radius just right. Now to start the bend, you have to turn the machine on, you have to make sure it's in clamping for bending, and then you can press either the start buttons, or you can use the nice foot pedal. I like using the foot pedal. Now when you bend from the left, you actually have a nice angle gauge where you can find 90 degrees consistently and repeatably, and there's also a stop if you want to set the angle for repeated bends. All right guys, so we've got our first bend done. We're actually going to make our second bend with this two inch top bar. Now what's nice about this is it allows you to put your bends really close together. What's nice about this electro brake so you can actually put your bent piece of metal behind where you're going to bend. You would not be able to do this with a box pan brake. Alright, so now you can see we've got a really nice channel made here. Again, this is something you would not be able to do with a box pan brake. There's no way to put these 90s close together like this. You need a press brake or a vertical brake where you're clamping with a small top leaf. And that's what's great about this electro brake. You get a lot of versatility. So I just got this all cut out. We're gonna make a recessed tray here, and we're gonna use some of the fingers to get some of the box pan type work done. But to make our first couple bends, we're gonna use the four inch long bar. Now the advantage of this is, you're gonna have a consistent setback, and it's indexed in, so you know everything's gonna be square. And then if you do your first couple bends that way, it's gonna make sure your, the rest of your bends are dead on. Let's get going. So we've got two fingers that we're going to need to compensate for this width. We give you a variety of fingers to adjust for a multitude of widths, and they're pinned. So they all lock together, make sure your bend line stays the same. Can slide that in.
All right, so now I got the large bar back on here, just dialing in the setback. We got two more bends to make. And once again, whenever possible, use the large bar. It's gonna give you the most consistent result. So there you have it. We were able to make a quick recessed tray. We got two mounting flanges, you know, so now you can mount it easily to wherever it's going to go. You could use this for, say, a battery box, use it to hold a computer, whatever you need. The versatility of this 48 inch electric brake allows you to do just about everything. For more information about this tool or any others, visit eastwood.com.